my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys that are new, welcome. My name is Pinky and teaching you witchcraft and tarot is what I do. For those of you guys returning, welcome back my loves. Here we are kicking off another spell for you guys as we are in fact in Capricorn full moon. A lot of people have been talking about, you know, the 21st is the full moon. Um, the exact time is going to be on the 22nd. So it's going to be tonight at 2.04 a.m. going into the 22nd, right? Um, that's when the full moon is going to be at its maximum. So you can do this spell uh, any full moon, but I'm giving you guys a heads up because we are experiencing a full moon tomorrow or today in the morning. <laughs> We're going to be experiencing a full moon in Capricorn. And what is Capricorn? It is the 10th sign of the Zodiac. It is all about structure, stability, money, power. So we really want to hone into this energy. If you guys don't have the ingredients, you'll be able to have them by next full moon as we are experiencing two full moons in Capricorn this month, June, and going into July as well. So you guys are having enough time. You guys already know how we do this, okay? Now, the reason why I'm using specifically this spell for Capricorn full moon is because, again, it is about abundance. It is about structure. It is about power. And it is about finances, right? And money or career aspirations. So we really want to hone into that energy. Now, this is a very simplistic spell. However, its potential is extremely powerful and you can make of it whatever you want, really. We're going to focus primarily on business and money, but you can do this for any other aspect, okay? Just following these simple steps. Now, disclaimer, this is the main ingredients here is the alligator pepper. Now, if you guys don't know about this, alligator pepper has been used throughout centuries, um, predominantly in Africa, okay? And it is a very powerful um fruit that is used uh, in its dry form and we are specifically talking about spirits okay we are working with spirits because alligator pepper does hone uh spirits that uh basically communicate and bring to us what we're asking for so again disclaimer just letting you know it is crucial and very important when doing your petition and when speaking to the seeds that you make it very clear, very clear, that you're asking for whatever you're asking for and then follow it with, with harm to none, okay? Again, it's a disclaimer. I'm putting it out there, letting you guys know and making you guys be aware, okay? You guys know that on my channel, we do not teach witchcraft without telling you or guiding you to have a better understanding of what you're doing. So, okay, like I said, alligator pepper is the main ingredient here. It's the main focus in this spell. Now, alligator pepper, like I said, has been used throughout centuries. Um, this was taught to me, I don't know, like 15, 16 years ago. Um, and I've only used it when it is, what's the word I'm looking for? When I'm really trying to make something happen and have a major breakthrough, okay? Okay. Now you can use it, if this is your first time using and working with this, you can use it as simplistic. And when I say simplistic, it, it could be as mundane as you're gonna go to the casino and you wanna make sure that you have luck on your side. You can use it as mundane as that to making it something much more uh, difficult to accomplish and perhaps more meaningful to you, okay? So it's really up to you is what I'm saying. What are we going to need? We're going to need a orange sachet or green. All right. I use orange when it comes to attraction and when it comes to bringing forth things that I'm wanting to manifest. You're going to need a white piece of paper, no lines. You're going to need a little bowl or a little box that you can um, integrate and put some dirt in it or some sand or whatever it is that you prefer. Uh, alligator pepper, once it's activated, you want to put it back into its natural state, which is earthly bound, okay? So that's the reason why we have dirt here. All right, like I said, dirt or sand, I prefer 
dirt that is as it's earthly bound and this is how it empowers okay all right and obviously the alligator pepper that is pretty much all you need and a marker okay so what are we going to do there is a process when activating alligator pepper i cannot tell you um you know i i've I've been getting clients sending me videos that people see on TikTok and stuff, and people just do not. First of all, a lot of them don't even know what the hell they're talking about. My advice is if you guys are going to go on YouTube, any social media really, and follow someone that's teaching you to do something, make sure you understand what you're doing, you guys. I cannot express to you guys how many times I've had clients come to me to fix their shit because they followed someone else, didn't know what they were doing, and then they created a shitstorm, and then I have to clean that up, okay? So please make sure that who you're following at least is giving you some type of guidance, not just telling you what to do, all right? Okay, moving on. All right, so like I said, you want to do this on a full moon, okay? Why? Because we're honing in the maximum powerful energy of full moons. You can do this, if you see this video after the fact and you want to do it on a new moon, Yes, you can do it on a moon. You can do it waxing moon. You can do it full moon, preferably full moon for its maximum potential. Okay. All right. So what are we going to do? You're going to get your marker and you're going to write your name and your date of birth. And then you're going to write down basically what it is that you're trying to bring to you. As an example, uh, you're going to write your first name, last name, date of birth, and then three things that you're trying to accomplish or three things that you're wanting to bring towards you. I know a lot of you guys sometimes comment below and like, can I put multiple things? I'm telling you three because you want to make it as simplistic as possible so that you can make it happen as quickly as possible. Keep it in mind, I will show you the process of using alligator peppers. So this is why you want to Make it as simplistic as possible. My advice is if you're trying to manifest one thing, do it one thing at a time. And I'll tell you why in the process of working with alligator pepper. Okay, so I'm making it as broad as possible. So write down three things that you're trying to draw into your life. As an example, we're doing this for money. If you have a specific amount of money that you want to be making a month, you would write down as an example, uh, 5,000 um 5,000 every month in sales or 5,000, depending on what it is that you do, obviously. Or if you're trying to do this for a win, a lotto win or something like that, um, $10,000, um, you know, uh, winning $10,000 in the lotto or something like that. Um, if you're trying to bring in more stability, more clients, you're going to write that down. Again, be as simplistic as possible. Okay. Once that is done, what you're going to do is you're going to pass this paper all over your body so that you can pick up and pull the energy of you or your essence towards this paper. Then we're going to put this to the side. Make sure to cleanse your baggie, whatever it is that you're using. Make sure to cleanse it. We've already done that. Um, actually, I'm not going to use that. Um, as you guys can see here, this is my personal one and this is the one that I use. I always keep in my wallet. Uh, yes, we have other things on here, um, but I'm teaching you the process because we do in fact have that and the alligator pepper here. Okay, so once that is done, like I said, make sure to cleanse it. How do we cleanse it? You can put holy water on it or my advice preferably would be to use incense to cleanse it. So you can use dragon's blood. You can use money incense. Um to activate it and cleanse it and make sure that there is no blockages there and that you have the upper hand in what you're doing moving along all right so once you get the alligator pepper i'm going to show you how it comes and again you guys if you do exactly what i'm telling you i assure you you're going to be literally dumbfounded at how quick you get results and how powerful these results are okay so the alligator pepper looks something like this. Some are longer, some are shorter. There is a way of working with these, okay? So I'm gonna try to describe it as easy as possible. Before, when we're about to activate it, you have to pass this, right? So let's say you have it in your right hand. You're gonna pass it to your left hand behind your back. Think of it like when, you know, 
when they're putting handcuffs on you, <laughs> when the cops are putting handcuffs on you, right? You have both your hands behind your back. You're going to pass it from your right to your left. Once you do that, you're going to keep your hands behind your back. You're going to bring both your hands together and you're going to pop it or press it down to open it. You don't want to rip it or completely snatch it or anything like that. You want to press it down. Why? You have to be careful in this process, you guys, because what we're using, basically, the alligator peppers have seeds. I will show you. Let me put this back. Alligator peppers have seeds. Not sure if you can see here. Let me see. I'm not sure if you can see that. It's kind of not zooming in. There we go. You see that? Oh, it's getting blurry again. I'm not sure if you can see that. But the inside of the alligator pepper has black seeds, okay? So we're going to be using the seeds. So you don't want to completely rip it apart and then have all the seeds fall to the ground because then you're shit out of luck and you're going to have to use another one. What you're trying to do is you're trying to break it so that you can slowly open it up to get a few seeds every time you're trying to bring something towards you to get what I'm saying. Not sure why it's not zooming in here. I'm trying to show you guys as clear as I can. Okay, you see that? All right, so like I said, you don't want to just rip it apart and have all the seeds fly everywhere because then you're not going to be able to use it. Okay, so you're going to press it down. Once you press it down, then you bring it to the front and then you're going to get from the alligator peppers, you're going to get seven seeds if you're a woman. You're going to get uh, nine seeds if you're a man, okay? So that, in fact, has already been activated. So then you can put the rest of the alligator pepper in the dirt or sand, whatever you're using, and then hold the seven seeds if you're a woman or the nine seeds if you're a guy, okay? You're going to put that to the side. You're going to hold the seeds. And then you're going to say your name, your date of birth, and the three things that you're trying to draw towards you. Okay? So as an example, I, Pinky, bring to me uh, in a bountiful uh, list of clientele. My business is booming, and I am making so-and-so amount of money every month. Once you do that, you're going to blow on the seats. And like I said, make sure to claim with harm to none. Okay? Once you do that, you're going to come back and get your paper. You're going to pour the seven seeds if you're a woman or nine seeds if you're a guy. And you're going to fold the paper towards you like this. Then you're going to turn it to the right. You're going to bring it towards you again then one more time to the right and towards you again okay like this once you've done that you're going to put it in your baggie or in your sachet or whatever it is that you're using preferably one of these you guys all right so once you do that whatever other pieces of the alligator pepper that you used from the seeds that you pulled as an example, let's just say this, you're going to put it in there as well, okay? Once that is done, you're going to close it, and you're going to blow on this three times, okay? Once you blow on it three times, you're going to pop it in your purse or in your wallet. If you're a guy, you can fold this, put it in your wallet, <coughs> excuse me, Put it in your wallet or in your pocket, whatever, preferably wallet, you guys. So it's very important and crucial for you guys not to lose this, okay? So once that is done, you don't worry about it. Now, 
the reason why we put it back into earth, and obviously this is why I'm doing and teaching you guys this spell specifically today, because we're working with Capricorn energy, right? Um, so we're working with the earthly bound and obviously money and finances is earthly bound and the alligator peppers maintain their charge and maintain their power uninterrupted if you put it back into the earth. So that's the reason why I encourage you guys to get a bowl with some dirt or with some sand so that the part of the alligator pepper that you've used for this petition is in here. The remaining, you're going to keep it in a box, okay, as such. And this is um, as an example. And you can keep this in your altar. You can keep this in, you know, for myself, I mostly use this for business. So I keep this in my desk. And whenever, let's say the next full moon comes and you want another petition or you want to enhance and empower what you've already done, you can go back and use the same, the same petition, the same paper if it's for the same thing and you just want constant money or constant, you know, growth or whatever. But what we're going to do is we're going to do the process again of getting seven seeds if you're a woman, nine seeds if you're a man. You're going to ask for what you're trying to draw towards you. You're going to put it in the piece of paper with the other added seeds that are already on there. You're going to blow on it three times and then you're going to do the same step. Put it back in your sachet and you're good to go. Okay. The reason why we keep this in the uh, sand or in the dirt is like I said, whenever you want to come back and use it for a specific purpose. As an example, you're going on a trip with your girls. Um, it's going to be a girls trip or whatever. And you want to gamble or you want to draw in love or you want to whatever it is. You're going to do the same process. You're going to come back at the alligator pepper. You're going to get seven seeds or nine if you're a guy. And you're going to ask that petition. Now, as we continue to use this for random things throughout, you know, throughout your experience, um, it doesn't have to be in a ritual form. What you can do because it's already been activated, it's already empowered. What you do is you come and get the, the seeds and whatever it is that you petition, you speak onto them to activate them. Then you blow on it three times and you can put it in your purse. You can put it in your, not in your purse, sorry, in your, what do you call it? Um, in your pocket. You can put it in your pocket, um, whether you're a guy or a female, it doesn't matter. And you go about your day with those seeds on there. And I assure you, you will see results. Um, like I said, the most important thing here is the process of activating and uh, charging it, um, making sure that, like I said, whenever, as an example, I've been using this for a while and whenever I, you know, happen to go, let's just say with some friends to Vegas and I know that I want to maybe not necessarily gamble because I don't really like to gamble, um, but let's just say I want to have a good time and just enjoy myself, I will pull out seven seeds um, as for whatever, as an example, um, I'm really trying to be a menace and I'm trying to draw in attention, right? I want to get suitors. <laughs> I want to get suitors uh, chasing me as an example. I'll get those seven seeds below on them and then put it in my pocket of whatever I'm wearing. And then I go about my day and you will see that happen. Um, or if you're trying to do this to draw in love, you're going to to a uh, outing or something and you want a romantic partner or you're, you know, looking and open, available to love, you can get the seven seeds if you're a woman, nine seeds if you're a guy and ask, um, I ask you to bring to me a person that um, is looking with the same intention as I am or to bring to me my perfect suitor and partner, that type of thing. And you put it in your pocket and you go out and you will notice that the attraction level is off the chains. Again, if it's money, you will see that as well. But you first want to ritualize this form. And this is why I'm teaching you guys the steps. As you are done with this moving forward, you can always use this for your everyday um, for your everyday chance at luck or you want to have high favor. Okay. 
All right, my loves, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Definitely try it out. For those of you guys that do come back, let us know how your experience was so that you can encourage other followers to try it out. I wish you guys the very best, happiest of full moons. And for you Cappies out there, it is your time. Empower and hone that energy and step into your power, my loves. And for everyone else, it is about bringing in that what you're trying to stabilize. Whatever it is, whatever area in your life, it is about... Um, really honing in the energy of stability. Um, so I wish you guys the very best and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.